Dobro jutro. Hello everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Kelly and I'm very happy to be here today. I am the past president of the European Oncology Nursing Society and what Johan did not say is he is the new president. He is our he is our president elect. So from September he becomes our president elect. So you will see lots of Johan in the next four or five years, really. So I just want to say a little introduction. My, my, my background is in oncology nursing. Nowadays, I am a professor of nursing research. I've worked at the Royal Marsden Hospital. And these days, I'm working mainly in prostate cancer and also with young adults with cancer and some palliative care research. But as part of EONS, I want to tell you a little bit about what we do. EONS is the European Society. We have been established since 1984. And we have 31 countries, members of EONS. And we go from Israel and Palestine in the east, and we go right across Europe to Ireland in the west, and all countries in between. So lots of languages, lots of different countries, different uh, problems, different challenges. But the common goal is to improve the care of patients with cancer through education, through advocacy, and through research. So EONS, our aims today in the, the plan that we have this morning is to look at some of the issues facing oncology nursing in both Europe and in the USA. And it's great that our societies and our countries are working together with you. Uh, it's wonderful to be here to do that. We want to examine some of the issues in the changing role of oncology nursing. In the UK, there are many challenges. I'll be telling you about them later. And I'm sure in the US, there are also some issues facing cancer nursing. We want to, we, Susie and I will be going shortly to talk about the role of the MDT uh, with the physicians. And we'll be talking about the role of the nurse in the multidisciplinary team. We also want to share, as Susie said, some common issues with you and also some areas of mutual interest so that we can learn from each other. This is what these events should be. It's not just one way, it has to be two way. So please come and talk to us and find out more if you are interested. And we want to tell you about our organizations and how they can support you in your work with cancer patients. So very quickly, I want to just run through the mission of EONS. EONS is an umbrella organization, and we try to provide leadership in all areas of cancer nursing, including research, practice, continuing education, communication, and advocacy. And by advocacy, we mean lobbying for the rights of nurses, but also for the rights of patients. So we go to the European Parliament. I know ONS get involved in there uh, also with the government to lobby for awareness of the needs of our patients. We want to ensure that everyone who is affected by cancer has the best care from highly educated nurses who are well informed, who are clinically competent, and who are confident across the cancer trajectory from diagnosis to end of treatment or end of life. Our vision to do this is that cancer nursing will be recognized in the cancer community, both nationally and at the European level with policy makers, and I hope this also applies in your own country, in the Russian Federation, as a profession with specialized training and qualifications 
that can be transferred across the continent of Europe and beyond. So if nurses do want to travel, they can do that with the same degree of ease and with the qualifications that they have. We also want to ensure that you as nurses enjoy good working conditions. And that includes um, optimal financial income. So we are looking at comparing salaries across Europe, and I'll be telling you more about that later, as well as looking after the well-being of nurses, safety, um, training, but also good working practices. And we want, by doing that, to improve the care of people with cancer. So our values as an organization, the strength of EONS comes from its members, and we have over 30,000 members in our society. It's a very large voice that has to be listened to in Europe. We recognize that there is diversity across the European continent, but we want inclus equality and inclusiveness for all cancer nurses, regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, or any disability. We want to improve patient safety in the work that we do, including the work with working with chemotherapy, the provision of high quality care, and better outcomes for patients and families. And the Society of Eons firmly believes in working in partnership with organizations and countries such as your own and other professions to, to achieve our goals and our values. We have four working streams in our society, communication, advocacy, research, and education. And each of those has a working group and a chair, and through those working groups, we achieve the goals that I've just described. By the end of 2023, we want to have achieved the following, that cancer nursing is recognized as a specialty across Europe through the CARE program, through our communication, advocacy, research, and education programs. All cancer nurses, wherever they work, will have access to education that is aligned with our education framework. This is our new education framework. It is in English, I'm afraid, but it will be available if you would like to take a copy. This is freshly designed to help to design curriculum or courses in your local hospitals or in your colleges. And we will hope that all cancer nurses, wherever they work, gain official recognition, reward in terms of career, and respect through the work that they do. And I will be telling you a little bit more about our RECAN project in our presentation later. This is just a, a, an overview of the education framework and the sections. So risk reduction, early detection. It's going backwards. Doesn't matter, it's in this document. I will move on and hope that, it, um, that you will read it and find it useful. If you would like to know more about EONS or become a member, please look at our website. Here are some nurses from the Royal Marsden Hospital in London, and that is where EONS was first founded. And we're very open to hearing from you become a member, and we hope that Russia will establish its own society and become part of the EONS family. So visit our website, and I thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing today about what we can share and how we can learn from each other. So thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Kelly. Colleagues, please take your seats.